Hey everyone, so we just launched Atomic Counters for serverless data, and this is pretty cool. It allows you to have multiple requests updating the same item with numeric counters incrementing atomically, which is great for things like aggregations and other running totals. So let's go ahead and see how this works. We'll jump into our terminal in VS Code and we'll enter npm init cloud to initialize a new serverless cloud app in this directory. Now we can select create new app and we'll choose the JavaScript API template and name it atomic counters. So this will create a new app for us and generate our app files locally. Now it will connect to our personal developer sandbox and we have a new serverless cloud app up and running. Now we can click on this URL and head over to our browser and we'll see hello serverless cloud. Now, if we open our index.js file, we can change this to hello serverless data. We save this file and it is immediately synced and deployed. And now we have hello serverless data. Okay, so our app is all set up. Let's go ahead and play with atomic counters. First, we'll import the data interface from our serverless cloud SDK. Then let's go into our default route and add const result equals await data.add, and we'll use a key named counter and set the increment value to one. And then we want to return the results here so we can see what the value of our counter key is. I'll save this and then we'll jump over to our browser. And when I refresh this, we will see result one. And every time I refresh, that number will keep incrementing. Now, this value doesn't have to just increment by one. We can change it to five and save that. Now we can skip by five every time we reload this page. We can also use a negative number. So if we want to subtract 10 every time, we can save this and run it again. And we'll see that we are now subtracting 10 every time we call this endpoint. So that's pretty cool for simple values, but we can also set nested object values. So let's change this to my object. And if we want to increment a field within the object, we set it as the second parameter. Let's call it counter. And we want to increment it by two every time. We'll save this. And when we run this over here, we should see that we now have an object that stores the counter in there and increments by two when we run it again. Now, the cool thing here is because this is serverless data, we can combine other properties and values in the same object as these atomic counters. So if we add const result equals await data dot set and pass in my object as the key and then set an object as the value and say that name is serverless data like this. Now, when we save this and we run it again, we see that name is set to serverless data and our counter is still there. Now, if we go back here, we can continue to update that counter atomically like this, and that'll keep incrementing without affecting our name field. So that is super handy, but what if we have multiple counters within an item and we want to update more than one value atomically? We can actually do that with our regular set method here. So what I'm going to do is I'll get rid of the name serverless data like that, and I'll add a counter property here. Now, in order to atomically update this, I can use an object with this dollar sign add keyword and set the increment value to one. And then let's do another counter. We'll call this counter two and we'll increment this one by five. And then let's set another value. We'll call this website and set this to serverless.com. Okay. So now we'll save this, it will automatically update and deploy. And when we refresh our browser, we'll see that we get the website property merged into our object. The name serverless data is still there. And then we have a counter of 11 and a counter two of five. And when I refresh this, you'll see that the counters keep incrementing and these are 100% atomic. Now the website property update would not be atomic. If you had multiple people trying to update that property at the same time, then the last write would would win. But for the properties that use this add keyword, those will be atomically updated no matter how many simultaneous requests are sent. So that is the very cool feature of atomic updates. Now, the other thing that we released was batch sets, which are also pretty cool. If we want to set multiple items at once, we can now send up to 25 items at the same time. 
So the way that we do this is by sending in an array as the first parameter to set, and we just send in objects with a key property. We'll name this user colon one, and a value property which will pass a string of some user. Now this value can be arrays, numbers, objects, etc., just like with a normal set. And we can even add additional metadata, like maybe a time to live, and we'll set that to 5,000. So let's add a couple more here and we'll name this user two and this one user three, and then set this value to user number two, and we'll get rid of the TTL here. And this one will be user number three, and we'll remove the TTL here as well. Now, batch sets only support overwrites at this time, so we do have to send in this options object with an overwrite true flag. Now, the reason why this is needed is because we're eventually going to add support for batch updates as well, so this is to make sure that this will be forward compatible. But this is a really great feature if you have to add or overwrite a bunch of new items. So now I'll save this and then refresh our browser, and we'll see that those records were inserted. Now by default, it will return just the values, but if we add a meta true flag here and then run this again, we'll see the created and modified timestamps. And in this item, we have the TTL as well. And that is batch sets. So serverless data now has atomic counters and batch sets, which are immediately available to all your apps on serverless cloud. We'd love to hear your feedback on these features and see what you can build with them.